itchy, so itchy, Leg Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new ASAP Mob mixtape, uh, The Cozy Tapes, Volume 1 Friends. New York's ASAP Mob, they're back with a new collection of tracks. Uh, also, one that implies with its title that there's uh, another volume of Cozy Tapes on the way at some point. This mixtape is making the rounds, it's pretty hype, been getting a lot of requests for it, but still, I didn't really know what to think going into this one. While I really did like one of the teaser tracks from this thing, the ASAP Rocky, Tyler the Creator, Playboy Cardi, Young Gleesh, Posse Cut, Telephone Calls at the end of the tape, a song that I thought was kind of messy, not really all that uh, uh, solidly put together, but still, it was kind of like this slugfest of a track and really energetic and raw and exciting. But still, I can't base my expectations of this whole thing off of that one single track, because the talent gap between the most popular and the least popular members of the ASAP mob is pretty large, and given that this is a collective tape, uh, I have to expect that I'm going to hear some mediocre performances from some of the more mediocre members of the group. Also, Rocky and Ferg's latest records were their worst yet, and if Rocky and Ferg are the best of what ASAP Mob has to offer, and they're putting out incredibly mediocre music, what hopes does this tape have of being great? Also, the last ASAP Mob tape was awful, and all the non-album singles that built us up to this point, like Hella Hose and Escape and Traumatic, have all been long forgotten at this point. They had really no shelf life or staying power at all. Now, I am happy to say there's nothing shockingly horrible about the music on this tape. There are a few tracks on here that I thought were a, a, a little bland because the production was super cloudy and atmospheric and the vibe was really kind of comatose and drugged out, like uh, way high. Put that on my set and the song Bachelor 2, a song where little Yachty actually drops one of his least appropriate features I've ever heard on any project ever. He just really doesn't fit into the vibe of the song at all with his goofy voice and the sort of vocal effects on it, which usually I enjoy. It's just gotta be the right context is all. Sort of like a, a Sprite commercial, that context. Per perfect context. But the rest of this tape is pretty raw and energetic. Banger instrumentals, these lightning in a bottle performances, one verse after another. Sometimes you're getting a hook, sometimes not so much. ASAP Mob do sound cozy on this tape. They are casual on this tape. They are just sauntering into these instrumentals, doing whatever they want, and just letting the chips fall where they may. It doesn't sound overwritten or overplanned or anything like that. It just sounds like, bam, 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 this is what we're doing, bam, we're not really thinking too hard about it. Some artists can do that and come out with an amazing project because they just have so much raw talent there, they're oozing it in every direction. The new Anderson Pack and Knowledge Record is certainly an example of that. Very good album, sounded super off the cuff, but still came through with great performances and some decent songs. Not as much the case with the ASAP Mob though. While a bulk of what is on this tape is very listenable, there's just very little on this project that comes across as memorable or special, really essential. Even the highlights on this thing I'm not really dying to go back to, like the song Nasty's World featuring ASAP Nast and Onyx. Together they bring quite a bit of chemistry, though the song does sound pretty dated. It's just like a hollow shell of what was so good about the 90s. Crazy Brazy has a pretty catchy hook and the verses all kind of crash into one another like a violent traffic jam. It's messy but kind of exciting like telephone calls. Of course I still enjoy telephone calls within the context of the tape. It's a pretty exciting closer because it is the most hyped track on the entire project. And while it was kind of cool to hear Rocky and Skepta on the same track, why was Skepta not on the song London Town? Wouldn't have that just made sense? While there are moments on this thing that I think are, are pretty decent, uh, I feel like I'm just kind of eating around the things that I don't like just to get to what I do like on this tape. Because a bulk of the verses on this thing and a bulk of the instrumentals really just kind of breeze by without doing anything all that attention grabbing. It's certainly an improvement on the last ASAP Mob tape, but the most hype thing about this project was the feature list. And while I did go into this with high hopes thinking, wow, there, there could be some cool collaborations on this thing, the music that was actually delivered is pretty run of the mill. Maybe if this 
had been Lords Never Worry, uh, we would have been talking, you know, a, a different opinion here. There would have been more cause for celebration because it would have been a more solid debut project. At that point, I think this project would have sounded a little more fresh, and that's another thing. ASAP Mob no longer comes across like the cutting edge crew that they were when they originally broke out. Sadly, I think they've done very little with their spotlight in the collective sense. There's just really nothing to write home about with this tape. I wish I had more nice things to say. Uh, but I'm having a hard time finding things to be excited about uh, with cozy tapes. You know, I guess you can be cozy with it. You can just kind of lay down, chill out, and it's on. It's, it's okay. You know, it's not going to make you jump out of bed and make you say, wow, that's terrible, or even, wow, that was a bar. Uh, you're just going to kind of lay there and just be sort of cozy. I'm feeling a light to decent five on this thing, transition. Have you given this mixtape a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Just leave an angry comment if you're feeling mad. And uh, also, all sorts of links next to my head, subscription, other videos, website, click on one. And have a good day forever.